He's not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I really, I wish it would, anyway. I'm not ready. Anyway, comment in the, well, never mind. We'll watch on the replay, but. I guess, but can you see the top of my head? Because right, I, because every time you do these Facebook lives, it's like I'm gonna chop. It's not your an head accurate off. representation of what. But then when you go, of what you can see, yeah. we can't see what you can see. Anyway, to see what you could see, see, see. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Very Good sorry. evening, everybody. Sorry for our tardiness. We had technological difficulties. Yeah, that's true. This time. So. Hey. Yeah, that's right. Oh, just. Saying hi. Yeah, so, you know, um, what's this one about? What are we talking Prosperity about? Prosperity and how it rocks. Oh, hate well, is going to hate. <laughs> Sorry. If you like poverty, then fine. I don't like it. Well, let the Bible says. Let the Bible let, say. Uh, let, me just, let me just provoke my wife. She trolls me enough on these things. <laughs> well, Lou, actually, the Bible says, blessed are the poor. In spirit? Is that the one you're talking about? Or are you Correct. talking about, you said that Blessed other one. Blessed are the poor in Blessed spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Sure. That's right. Yeah, what's so that other I was misquoting the Bible there. Yeah, sort of. Like, I mean, well, half. Talk about heresy. Blessed are the poor in spirit. That's yeah, right. Yeah, they shall see God. Okay, that's not talking about money. What do you, what? There was one that you were talking well, about earlier that you said, Jesus, God, no, you said what? God blesses the poor. And I'm like, so if God blesses the poor, doesn't that mean they won't be poor anymore? Yeah, you know what? Jesus preached good news to the poor. I can't do it. Jesus preached good news to the poor. Guess what good news to the poor is? You're not going to be poor anymore. You don't have to be poor. <laughs> Isn't that good news? Right. Like, if it's... That's good hey, news. That... I have yet to see how being poor has helped anybody. Yeah. Ever. Not having enough. Not that it's anybody's how? fault necessarily sometimes, but like... Right. A lot of people are born into certain situations exactly. that are beyond their control. Yep. And that is not... Their fault. That's right. So I never said it was. But God can but, still pull you out of that. But what, I, what I'm saying is yeah. that it's not a blight on you, but you don't have to stay there. No, that's right. Right. And so what's this? What is the title? I always we called to it, know. we being me, called it <laughs> Prosperity Rocks Haters Gonna Hate. It's so true. And it's so bizarre. Anyway. This, this one thought that <gasps> I have. Dion Simone. We love you, Dion and Simone. This one thought is, how is it that it seems to be so hard for people to understand this this one thing? That this one thing. Th- this one thing. There's like a that, thousand. But yeah, anyway, but this is the one we're on tonight. <laughs> yeah, but particularly this one thing that prosperity is good. <clears throat> prosperity good. Poverty bad. <clears throat> How dare but you? It's the Sorry. love of money. That's it. That is the root of all kinds of evil. Say that. So it's not lots and lots of money is therefore evil. Yeah, thank you. You can have person. little, little money and be there can evil. be evil because you can right. have love of the little money that right. you have or love of wanting to get money that you don't have. Okay. That's it's. That's what it says that's in 1 Timothy 6.10, saying this is what is the Bible Hi, say. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, oh. for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But you, men of God, flee these things, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, gentleness. So, hey, you actually don't need to have the love of money. You flee those things. Some right. have strayed from the faith by having the love of money. That's true. <laughs> My but life. You can it's actually possible to keep your heart right and to put God first and still have hey, lots sh- of money. Hey, knock it off. What are you? I'm so sorry. Yeah, no. I hyped the dog up before the broadcast. It's totally my fault. Yeah, it is. And he's like it is running fault. into the stand. It Milo, is totally. Stop it. Come here. Sit down. Hey. Yeah, sh- ca- calm sit. down now that I've been crazy Look, playing with you for the, the last idea was 20 minutes that he would get really tired and go to sleep and Dominic, you're back. are you back out of facebook jail were you in facebook jail That's, <laughs> i was fine from- <laughs> ow milo don't you got zuckerberged oh. <laughs> we next. missed you too Dominic. <laughs> try to keep it hey, pc Denise. pg Denise no, i'm just kidding. just kidding oh we love you denise we miss you been a while. 
Can you hear that? No, they can't. The, he, the microphone's okay. weird. So he's just you know, try, on, try on to stay chair. on track if you can. <laughs> 40 days? 40. That's, that's, that's like the That's flood. a 40-day fast, a mandatory, mandatory Zuckerberg fast. Right, so, oh, man, don't get me started on Facebook fasts. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> Too long, eh? Anyway. Yeah. Hello, Mark. Yeah, that's right. What were we talking about? First Timothy, you were in Timothy. It's the love of money, right? That is the root of all kinds of evil. Not money not, itself. Not big amount. Not poor, not small amount. But the love not, of it. But for some reason, it, it in many people's minds, when there's a big amount, then that's that's oh that's bad. That's evil. Which is that's stupid. not spiritual. How is that not spiritual? Spiritual is is very poor. That's the Pope talking. Yeah, that's, yeah. And he's freaking as he he's rides off around. The tops. Off the tops, off the charts, Just wealthy, the... but everybody else has to be poor. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Hey, if stop doing what What's good you... for the goose hey. is good for the gander. That's right. So they say. Exactly. So, you know. Oh, my gosh. He really got hyped up. It did not work. No. I told, I told you. I told you that. <laughs> yeah, I told you it wouldn't. Oh, is he licking your toes? So do you have anything else Sorry. to say, Lou? Or... I do have plenty yeah. to say, but anyway. So another scripture, is that what you're after? Psalm 35, 27. Seeing as though it is what the Bible says, Milo, geez, take it easy. <laughs> um, okay, but give great joy. Wait, I've got to go back a bit. It won't work. May those who rejoice at my troubles be humiliated and disgraced. Oh, geez. May those who triumph over me be covered with shame and dishonor. Great scriptures. It's so good. But give great joy to those who came to my defense. Let them continually say, great is the Lord who delights in blessing his servant. Okay. Well, this is just the wrong translation. No, no. Great is the Lord who delights in blessing blessing. his servant. Yes. But Asterix City, is it? NLT is. Oh, NLT. It's saying blessing his servant with peace. And that's not. Correct. Excuse me. Give me ye old King okay, James. Okay, seeing that you're completely unprepared as you were playing with the dog, hyping it up, trying to get him to what knock. What an insult. <laughs> okay. No, so, I was no, that's helping. All right. That's all right. By playing with Hey, I got one of my own that um, that is a scripture that actually God likes it when people are blessed, that's when his true. own children are blessed. So, well, you know, what a novel idea. What a novel idea. Do you I like mean, blessing our kids? Oh no! I think that our kids should be yeah. You know, I enjoy at Christmas them time especially. Yeah, I, I'm potato like, sack. Now here's a great time to learn the how much we love you by not you. giving you anything, but taking something from you. Uh, like, hey, give, me, give me that toy. <laughs> what world? In fact, what world? It doesn't. It just doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't make, make sense. sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. I don't understand. I mean. <laughs> I tried to be the one provoking you to we're say... We're just going to provoke each other because we're both <laughs> on the same train. But no, it's it's a legit thing. People have different thoughts about this. They think... They do. Anyway, Deuteronomy Watch 28, eight. the whole chapter, but particularly verse 47, if you do not serve the Lord your God with joy and enthusiasm for the abundant benefits you have received... You will serve your enemies. That's true. So that's right. Th- you have received abundant benefits. In 63, just as the Lord has found great pleasure in causing you to prosper and multiply. So that is one element there and it goes on. But, I mean, the start of Deuteronomy 28 is that if you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully keep all his commands that I'm giving you today, the Lord your God will set you high above the nations of the world. You will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. This is what this is what some of the blessings were for obeying God. Was your towns and your fields will be blessed. Your crops, your children and your crops will be blessed. The offspring of your herds and flocks will be blessed. Your fruit and baskets and breadboards will be blessed. Wherever that sounds you go, like a lot of bless- blessings. Whatever you do, you will be blessed. Wherever you go, whatever you do. That's pretty broad. Blessed. That is that is pretty broad. So right. how and in what world? Oh, like how do you mess that up? I don't, I don't Not mess it, that up as in, oh, no, you're poor. But like how do you mess that up in 
you should be poor because, you know, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. I shall not want. I will not. Um, I have all I need. I have all I need. Yeah. I mean, right there. It's in 23rd Psalm, you know. Right. Well, go what back to my Psalm one that now I've got the correct translation. It no, it was 35, 35, verse 27. So... Um, yeah, let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause and let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. See, that's better. That's a better translation. So he has pleasure. He has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. That's right. You know, like when, yeah, that makes sense. He gave you Jesus. Like he's not going to hold back anything else. Like, hey, I gave you my son, so I'm not getting anything else. Yeah. He that, is like, how much more will he graciously give you all things? That's right. That's exactly it. And that's that's probably where I would have found myself landing yep. the plane. But that is exactly it. If he yeah. didn't hold back even his own son. Yeah, but you're like asking for what? You need a new car, new toaster, fridge, fridge whatever. The power goes well, out and you greedy. don't know why. You know, oh, you should be have satisfied. A, you, Go and light a fire. You're not... You, so okay, get a fridge, but don't get a real good one. Yeah, make sure it's a, you know... Make sure it's a poverty fridge. <laughs> I mean, you, to should, be more spiritual. you should shop at your limit. Right, like, don't you over budget and no, know where true. you're at. But yeah. understand that God wants to take you to another level. All the time. He's always wanting to take you to another level. You yeah. can do more for God with more. Whoa. <laughs> you can. You can do more for you. How about, you know, you want to pay off someone's car for them, to bless them, to show them how much God loves them. Right. You can't do that if you don't have enough for you. Right. Like, you know, if you're living... Oh, my gosh. I can't even. I have too many thoughts. <laughs> yeah, but I, I've <laughs> grabbed a hold of it because <laughs> the thing is... How God gets the love of money out of your heart uh-huh. is through giving right. in what you have. Of course. So this is this is the tension, is that don't be against prosperity, but be for giving with prosperity. Right. If you can do both of those things, if you can be for being generous and yeah. giving to the kingdom of God with prosperity, yeah. then you'll be okay. Then you'll keep the love of money out of your right. heart. You'll keep your heart good in that area. You won't fall away because of that. Because you'll continually be giving. You'll be giving. You'll be giving. And he who sows generously will reap generously. That's God's economy. That's the way God wants his children to be. He He doesn't want us holding on to things and going, ah, this is on my hoarding it, being greedy. Because that's that's the love of money. Is the root of all kinds of evil. But yeah, it is. And it's not just even money. It's stuff. Yeah. Like you can hoard stuff like, a gee, I might need that letter. Or like, or you could give it away and right. then moth won't eat it. Moths, it won't decay. Like you give it away and you just can't outgive God. Wow. So the more you give, the more you get. And so you can, you just, that's hey, why God says, test me in this. What have oh, you done? I touched the screen. <laughs> Right, um, this is why. Yeah, that's why God says, test me in this. Because it's actually like, he's like, I'll I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you like that that I'll give you all things. Yeah. And and it's it's like you were saying, like it takes that love of money out of your heart. Yeah, like, to be a giver. That's why he set it up like this. Like you can't chuck the principles on, of God on stuff and go, well, I'm just going to get mega rich and, and never and, give. And never give. It doesn't work like that. God has set it up so that you sow yeah. and then you reap. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you should give it a go. I think so. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. See, I, now I feel like giving stuff away. I know. I did. I gave stuff, stuff away just recently. I gave good. away my Ergo Baby and my some other stuff and then some money. Does it? Does it? Do you feel like you have less because you gave stuff away or do things well, have things come in? I only just gave it away yeah, like two have, days ago. Have things come in? Well, in, in the terms past, of yes, babies. Things have definitely come in. Yes, we, we gave have, away tons of stuff and then we haven't we haven't lacked anything. T- testimony from like giving. My goodness. There's been some crazy hey. things that we've received because of this principle, I think, of of being a giver and being 
being blessed, yeah. like the blessing of the Lord that adds wealth and adds no sorrow to it. I remember having a list of things. This is one of the crazy oh, ones to me. Nuts. Because oh I remember gosh, having a that. list of things that I wrote down that I needed from Bunnings and it was like a lot of, um, a bunch of different garden tools and several things. And then someone came over that came with a list of things and pictures and stuff and they were... They were saying, you know, anything here that you want on this list, you can have it. And I could have could like have gotten my list thing. and their list, put and them yet, on the overhead projector. And now we're the same. And it's like, <laughs> so yeah. not, they weren't perfectly the same. Hey, knock but it off. There what do. <laughs> He's biting me. I have to address okay. him. Don't yeah, nudge you do. me. Sit. You do. I'm just laughing at the fact. <laughs> anyway, hey. so many of those things were the same. So many of those oh things. Oh, my gosh. He, look, he did that. He did that. No, you did that. <laughs> you did that, Lou. Because I hyped up the dog. you hyped up the dog right, just, before hey, that'll we do. went live. Sit down. For a good 10, 15 hey, minutes. <laughs> that'll do. These are the joys of live. See? The anyone kid, anyone the, says that this is not live. The kids, uh, the kids are in bed, but the puppy is wreaking havoc. H. Sit. Go on. Sit. Get, Where's he gonna go? Yeah. Where's he gonna go? There he is. Don't you're showing That's what's. Out. I'm not wearing great pants. I'm just wearing. No. <laughs> yeah, you've been lulled into a false sense of security, like um, <laughs> when they read the news on TV, and they're like in. Have in you seen those boxes. ones of Shaq? Yeah, with his box. <laughs> yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. He's got a suit and a tie, <laughs> but he's just wearing basketball <laughs> pants and and, and shorts. So. Yeah, anyway, that's right. We have been lulled into that. As well. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Puppy love. Great. It so. Is, it is good. Hey, that dog's a testimony. Which dog? That one that just, this one. you know. <laughs> what dog? Are you crazy? The one here. <laughs> or the guinea pigs. What dog? Or the guinea pigs out there. What are you talking about? We have, we guinea got, pigs for free? We got given some guinea pigs. We Mind you, I mean guinea pigs. That's not I'm not sure how much of a blessing with the they, coop they are. And everything. I think they will be fun. The kids have really enjoyed them. Evelyn, is she's almost killed them like several times. She's trying to hold them under their arms, but she's like... <laughs> and she's like, guinea pig, guinea pig. And the guinea pig's like, I'm dying. <laughs> Somebody save me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't so strangle I, your blessing. At least I am wearing pants. Don't destroy your blessing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the message is in that. Oh, uh, no, no, don't destroy your blessing. That's right. Yeah. Don't choke your blessing there, Evelyn. Put the what? guinea pig down. <laughs> Step away yeah. from the guinea pig. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, but it's true. And it's it's different when it comes from God. Because when the blessing, when you recognize the blessing comes from God, when the Lord adds blessing, he adds no sorrow with it. Right. So when you get it by your own hands, and if you're even coming into gain and wealth through nefarious means, through robbing well, that's people. That's a big word. And through, nefarious? you know, Sorry, God. ripping people off and this yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, that's going to add sorrow. Then you'll, you'll get some stuff and you might go up in wealth, but your sorrow will also climb yeah, with it. Yeah. You cannot continue to live that way and have it not affect your heart, your soul. You get messed up. Yeah, like Breaking Bad. Yeah. If anyone's seen that, if you haven't, it, it don't will. watch it. No, like, heck no. I but recommend it now, it, do, it but does affect you. But that's when, right. you when these things came in, when many of these things that we've been blessed with came in, um, it's, it impacts our heart and we're like continually <laughs> grateful that God has given us these things. Yes. So you see them all the we've time. Given, and just we've given, we've given and yep. helped break um, materialism and, and the love of money, any traces of the love of money in, in our hearts. And we'll continue to do that. We'll continue yes, to right. push through in giving and giving so that our hearts are right. But when the blessing comes in, it's it's from him. So you you look at the blessing in this lawnmower, this Oh. Great Hon- uh, Victor lawnmower only got like 120 hours yeah. on the thing or whatever. 
like in mint condition, starts like every oh, time. Every time. The kids my kids can start, can start it. it. It's like it, a thing of starts. beauty. It's like so new. It was cleaned. It looked like it was off the showroom floor. Um, it was just fantastic. Amazing. The kids can start it. And it starts and they, first time. And they mow the lawn and, and it's like fun. I look at that lawnmower and I'm just like, that is the blessing of God. Yeah. Now, if I had a stolen it, I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't. I'd be like mowing the lawn, like, oh, like is looking anyone, around. Do you know, I was, you know, I was but, buying a dummy for you, our you daughter that. today. Remember? Yeah. And there was a packet, right, of of a dummy. Like you know, they come in a two pack. There was like someone had stolen it and stuffed the other one in the back like that. And I am over an, a dummy. Over a dummy, but like dummy. Yeah, don't be a dummy and still a dummy, but like. It's so funny because, you know, when we can go on a different subject about thoughts and stuff, but I won't. But, like, I'm looking at that dummy behind these formula tins and I'm like, oh, I could just grab that and that would be easy. And then I'm like, what? What? Like, that thought? Like, what a wicked thought, like, popped into my head. I'm like, um, excuse me, no, that's stealing. Like, but, I mean, I, I don't really know even if that was my thought but like that it's sitting there and it's like you take and I'm like I'm like every time you would look at the dummy you'd be like I stole that mm, yeah that wasn't that's not mine like it's the ten commandment one you know like that's huge it's so much a better thing to look at things and go yes, wow and go, that's wow. the blessing of Isn't god that amazing so it's a testimony how this came to be in my hands yeah i'm going to keep things some things just for the sake of reminding me of the goodness of god as long as you're not hoarding. No, like. not hoarding. In fact, we've got we're gonna to get rid of some Yeah, just going to keep... Because otherwise it gets grubs and bugs and moths and stuff starts eating. You get weevils and silverfish. Like, just get flow. Yeah. Let it that's go. That's true. The Dead Sea yep. is a sea in Israel there that... Um, hey, Stephen. Um, it, it receives all the time, but it has no outflow. It receives the water, yeah. but there's nothing live, living in there. Yeah. It'll get a heap of water, but it's salty. It's mo- one of the most mineral-rich seas in the world. Like, I mean, you can't it's not just salt. Eyes. Yeah, it's there's signs up saying, if you swallow a mouthful, seek medical advice because it's that. Seek medical advice. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they reckon. But they, <laughs> those health people, sometimes they get, they're a bit alarmist, so... No. Um, no, 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 no joke. It. Sometimes they are. They are not. <laughs> no, they they can be. They can be. You'll get can Dominic be a little bit. started here. Stop. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no, they can be, but no offense. No, Don't but it's ridiculously you. salty. No animals can live in there. I I brought my board shorts home um, without washing them from swimming in the Dead Sea, and I held them up in the sun, and they were like glistening. <laughs> They were glistening. They were like reflecting this. It was wild. They were like, and, and you get it and taste my board shorts just for fun. And it was like, whoa, it was intense. You know, I got a little bit on my lip, on my tongue. Uh-oh. It was on my lip. Did you seek medical advice? No, I didn't. It was just a touch. It was fine. And, and it licked my lip. And I was like, wow. I'm going to die. Okay. No, it was intense. It's strong. You would not just dive in. It, oh, that would like the that would be a concern because you float. You, you're like bobbing around. It's the weirdest experience floating in water. Like you just you don't sink. It's you're not like, that weird. It's wild. Have you? Has anyone done that? Has anyone My swam? My mum can do that all the time. It's in her the dead superpower. Sea? She floats. <laughs> like, I can't. I don't, I don't know. It's a superpower. Okay, she would. It's amazing. Your mum might I've be able to it. walk on water in the Dead Sea if she can float like that normally. Hey. <laughs> She wouldn't go, so we'll never know. <laughs> you never know unless you, you ever go. It's still cool. Isn't there some Lizzie Rock? Love you. Hello. Oh, hey, Lizzie. If you are healthy, why would I help? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you you'd get Dominic the... started. I told you. <laughs> yeah. I told yeah. you. Yeah. But there's another sea. Anyway, all this to say, there's another sea in Israel, the Sea of Galilee, huh. Galilee, which has an inflow and an outflow and that's the sea that we should be like because that has got yeah. heaps of healthy fish and healthy life in there. You can swim so in it. You can swim in there. Death. And put your head underneath. You'll be it's all right. Nice. Be like the Sea of Galilee. Don't be a dead sea. Yes. <laughs> Galilee sounds so much better than dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be dead. Dead's bad. 
Poverty bad, oh, prosperity yes. good. Poverty basically. leads to death. Don't it's have just... love of money. Be yes, that's giver. right. <laughs> that's right. Rebranding of healthy. Israel needs help right now. Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, many, many nations do. That's right. Shout out to Israel. We love you, Israel. We do. We love you, um, Rachel and El Natan. We have family over there. We do. You still in lockdown? Let us know. That's right. I'm going to might tag you in this one, Rachel, seeing that so we're that talking to you. So you can let us know. Yeah, otherwise yeah, you don't know what's right. going you. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah, we're good. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. God bless.